Happiness is a choice, not something that's owed to you. You do know that, right? My name is Kelvin and I am on my 30 to 60 day monk mode journey. I'm learning how to listen to my mind, deep on my spirit and stay true to my core ethics. You know, like it's crazy how we constantly depressing ourselves because we want to be happy and we want to be in a high frequency environment, but we not creating that within us. We want that just to come out of the blue. I've realized that in most cases, we are so used to being low frequency and around negative vibes that that becomes the normal state and happiness becomes a weird feeling. Dude, like, I don't know, but white or Caucasian people, what are they feeding you? What are they teaching you guys? Because based on my analysis and the friends that I had, you know what? White people are very high frequency. They're very friendly. They're very energetic. And I think just based on um, the majority, you can see what that energy does, man. That energy attracts good things. It attracts good deals. It attracts good people. And whereas on the other side, us as black people, bro, we are so, we are a very aggressive race, you know? And when I'm about to say this, I know that there could be someone thinking that, yo, you know what? White people didn't go through the struggles that we went through. Um, there's a lot of things that happen. Um, there's a lot of stress. But, bro, at the end of the day, happiness is a choice. Happiness is not owed to you. It doesn't mean that just because you're white and you didn't go through oppression that everything is okay for you. But going away from the generalization, let me speak about myself. I find it really hard to be happy. And what I saw is when I become happy, I disturb my happiness with what I need to do or what I haven't done. You know, it's my constant anxiety for the future that steals my happiness in the present moment away. And what is it? I don't even know what it is, but it's a state that I've, I've felt comfortable with not being happy or not feeling anything that the moment that I start feeling happy, I start feeling guilty for it. Um, there's this mechanism that is set up that you mustn't be too happy or else something bad's going to happen. And that's the craziest thing because it kept us from being very jolly, uh, which is something that I did experience as a young child. What is happening with this light? All right. So um, I also found myself having a misconception because this anxiety caused in my head is a financial anxiety that I need to be somewhere. I need to reach a specific point until I I will be happy when I reach a specific point. But there, there, there was a guy that was in my life. His name is Rainier. Uh, he was one of uh, the directors for one of the movies that I was acting in. Um, he told me, he's like, yo, you know what, bro? Like money won't make you happy. Bro, coming from a state when you don't have money and someone telling you that money won't solve your problems, money won't make you happy. They sound crazy. They sound selfish. They sound like, oh, okay, no, yeah, since you have money, you think that. But if you actually look at it, bro, it won't. Think about this. How many times that we say that if we get that Air Force One sneaker, right, that I am going to be happy. But when you get that sneaker, you're not even happy. It's like that split second. It's a moment. How, how crazy is that? Because it's like you live that time period saying that you'll be happy when you get the sneaker when you get the sneaker it's like ah yeah and then you get the sneaker and then you realize that you're still not happy i feel like the analogy spreads to the money side too i mean like now how do i change this without going on forever dude i don't know <laughs> to be quite honest like i just feel like affirmations won't really work for me because hey i'm happy i'm jolly but i think it's a step-by-step -step process of me being able to differentiate between moments you know and understanding that you know what this is just a moment and i need to be happy in this moment and i need to start being more satisfied with myself and with where i am in order to be able to go somewhere else because i feel like once i, I feel like happiness is kind of like the key to open the door so in my life i'm kind of like chasing the future so much that the key happiness is right here in front of me it's like hey take me bro you can unlock better things because when i'm happy bro genuinely that's when you become more creative that's when you attract better things you attract better people in your life so is that not the key
dude, I need you to remember this. Happiness is not owed to you. This is something that we need to go get. And once we get happiness, I feel like there's so much more on the other side. Thank you for being with me. Uh, I hope this happiness thing, we can finally get it right. And this is what the channel is for, trying to find different parts of ourselves that we really need to work on. And I hope my journey does influence your journey and does give you a young self-reflection. So thank you for being with me to this point. And please do subscribe.